Hello, my loves. Yes, it is my next Yankee Candle inspired nail. Now, this is day two. However, it's already the 3rd of December, but I did say to you, I'm not necessarily going to do them in order because some of the things repeat themselves and I have other videos to dot in between. So they'll just be kind of happening when they happen, which makes it even more exciting because you never know. Look at that. It's so pretty, isn't it? So I'm doing day number two today. And this is not a candle. It's actually one of the little glass candle jars. Um, so that was something really different for me to think of. But I came up with an idea. I tried a couple of different methods. And this was the one I liked the result of better. Because this beautiful little candle jar has kind of got a light gold with um, a silver as well and these kind of gaps these negative spaces and dots and I didn't want to go all out yellow gold on it but I'll show you what I've done and um, yeah hopefully you will like it it's really easy to replicate it's a very much a salon simple style using gel just taking a practice tip I'm literally gonna buff the shine off the practice tip and then go in with some gel products and some chrome products and just make it work do you like my palette just joe nail addict made that for me isn't she clever very clever it's very beautiful so just gonna pop a little nail on my holder there i think i got that from glitter planet it's like a magnet one first color i'm using is chalet session which is from the new madam glam it's a long story collection it's beautiful silver, but it's such a fine, like, pigmenty silver, so it's it's not chunky glitter or anything like that. It's kind of really dense and lovely. So I'll put a first coat on there and give it a 30-second cure. And then in with the second coat, just to give it a little bit more opacity. That's a big word. Hmm. <laughs> Thank you for all the birthday messages. By the way, I had a great day because my daughter came home from uni and surprised me. It was amazing. I cried a lot. Okay, that's two coats. Now I'm going to go in with matte top coat. And there is a reason for this, which I will reveal in a moment. So I'm going to go in with matte top coat and cure that one for 60 seconds because that is actually the gel bottle. I forgot to bring out my... Um, Madam Glam Matte Top Coat. So now I'm going to use um, a fairy gold chrome. So it's not as intense as the real gold. See, it's more of a sort of subtle gold, similar to the gold in that candle holder. And I'm going to rub that into the matte top coat. I've never used it on a matte top coat before, but the effect is really velvety and nice. And then to create that like dot effect that you've got on that candle holder, I'm actually just going to use no wipe top coat and a dotting tool and do a, um, a really random kind of dot slash splodge. It's, that is super technical. So with the bigger side, I'm doing like splodges and then little dots. And then the smaller side, I'll do some smaller dots. And there's no set pattern. They don't need to be even. You can do them as big or as small or as slim or as fat as you like or you know as high as you like it doesn't really matter um the point is when i pop that in my lamp the parts that have the top coat on will be cured with the chrome and then the rest of the nail i can wipe the chrome away to give that silver gold silver gold effect that you've got with the candle holder so i'll do that now whack it in the lamp for 30 seconds Take, take some isopropyl alcohol on a lint-free pad, give it a wipe, and that will take off the chrome that has not been top-coated. So you're left with the silver matte base and then the shiny gold dots. Now, I wanted to intensify that gold a little bit more because it was a little bit wishy-washy for my liking. See what I mean? You can see the gold shining through there, but I wanted it a bit more. So I just did another layer of gold chrome obviously if you were using a solid gold chrome it would be way more intense but I wanted the fairy gold because I felt like that candle holder was more subtle 
so I wanted to try and replicate that. So I'm doing the same again, I'm just rubbing it in, but because I'm rubbing it on top of the no wipe top coat, it will have a little bit more of a sheen to it. And I'm just gonna go over the same areas with a bit more no wipe top coat and do exactly the same thing again. Cure it for 30 seconds. And when it comes out the lamp, wipe off the excess. So I'll let you watch this little bit. Christmas memories I've been working so much lately I can barely find the time to sleep Yeah, I spend my time running around Keeping people pleased But this is my favorite holiday It's a chance to start over new Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you are the good times with you baby this year is just gonna be you and me hang by the fire and chill isn't this how it's supposed to be making our christmas memories oh and i've been longing to hold you close forget about everyone else isn't this how it's supposed to be so all that excess is wiped off and hey presto you're left with the design where you've got that shiny shiny gold glow without it being too intense on the different I'll, I'll get it closer to the candle holder so you can see there you go and that's that super quick and super easy for a little Christmas salon design that's a bit different and not your kind of atypical stuff so until next time I'll see you in my next video Tally bye up in the morning I'm gonna play those carols that you love We'll be singing all the melodies Until the sun comes up These are the good times with you Baby, this